is a great time for new beginnings. Summer brings so much energy to us that this is the perfect time to birth a new version of ourselves. One that is more feminine, more magnetic, more <sighs> relaxed. Today, I'm going to share with you eight practices that you can leverage this summer to come back more radiant than ever. Are you ready? Number one, practice expressing your emotions. You know, normally during our day to day, we are asked, how are you? Which means, how are you feeling? And we automatically say, fine. The F word. Fine is going to be the forbidden word this summer. This summer, when you are asked, how are you doing? You will really look within and feel, how am I in this very moment in time? I'm feeling expansive. I'm feeling joyous. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling relaxed. It will help even to expand your own vocabulary. And as you expand your ability to express your emotions, you are going to expand your ability to feel them, recognize them, communicating them. And what is going to happen? You are going to improve your relationships with everybody else and your relationship with your soul. So, fine is this summer the F word for you. And you are not going to use it. Forbidden. Practice number two. Practice discovering hidden blessings. This summer gives us plenty of opportunity for being upset about the weather, it's too hot, about the airport, it's too crowded, about the children are too noisy. There are many opportunities for us to complain. Well, what you're going to practice this summer, just this summer, is to concentrate in joy, in the things that make you feel happy, in which way your child was absolutely gorgeous and delightful, in which way the airport was fast and professional and flexible and accommodating, in which way the restaurant provided such a great experience. For just the summer, just for the summer, you are going to concentrate in finding just like a treasure hunt, the blessings, the joy, the most beautiful miracles in your life. Practice number three. Practice owning your inner authority. During the summer, we tend to be people pleasers. Where would you like to go out for dinner, my darling? And we say, whatever you want, dear. Pleasing our husband just to be nice. Well, this summer is going to be different. This summer, you're actually going to say what you really want. Well, actually, darling, I don't want to go out for dinner. I want to have a picnic. Or indeed, I want to go to this specific restaurant. Or I want to eat this specific cuisine. This summer, just this summer, you are going to own what you really want. Be the queen of your castle. Really say what you want. You're going to be surprised. Everybody is going to be so liberated that they don't need to guess. Enjoy being your own authority this summer. Practice number four. Grow expansive relationships. During this summer, you will have plenty of opportunity of interacting with many people. What you will do different this time is that you will notice whether they expand you 
or contract you. After every single barbecue, picnic, you will take a moment and feel, connect with your heart. Is this relationship expanding me? Helping me grow spiritually, psychologically, professionally? Or is this really bringing me back, re-traumatizing myself? Hmm. By this reflection, you will be able to create plans of action related to these relationships. Seeing these people more often or precisely the opposite. Having deep conversations or keeping them shallow as you become more conscious of the effect that relationships have on you, your relationships will improve and you will grow. Practice number five, expanding your ability to receive. Many years ago, I organized a dinner for my in-laws. It was a very complex dinner you know, I'm Mexican, so many flavors, high complexity. And at the end of the dinner, my mother-in-law said, may I help you washing dishes? And that for me was a huge shock. How come I will allow my guest to help me wash the dishes? That's my responsibility. This is so, oh, I cannot do this. And a friend of mine, brought this to my attention. Allow her to help you. This is the way you become intimate. This is the way you become family. This is the way of growing together. When you allow the others to give you, you are opening your heart to be loved. You are creating intimate, expansive relationships. So just for this summer, Open up for whatever your friends, your family are giving to you. Possibly even strangers. Open your heart. You deserve. Practice number six. Listening to your own wisdom. This summer you are going to fast. And I don't mean that you will not eat meaning that you will fast. Hmm. Not consuming other people's advice. This summer, you will tune in your very own wisdom. Where do I need to go? What do I need to do? Constantly during the summer, just remember and connect to the wisdom of your own body. You will find a little voice guiding you. Connect to that knowing you are wise beyond what your current self believes. Expand it. Just this summer. Practice number seven. Practice rewiring your brain. When you're about to fall asleep, your brain is ready to be reprogrammed. At that very moment, you can listen to affirmations that will change the way you have been thinking for a long time. That is the perfect timing to change the thoughts that have been defining your beliefs. Because you see, beliefs are nothing else but thoughts that repeat often. So now, instead of keeping the thoughts that have been repeating for all your life, you can program new ones. I actually created a video for you that you can listen every night. You can start just listening to it this summer. Mm, you can make it a habit beyond the summer. Because as you reprogram your mind, change your beliefs, you will change the way you act, you will change the way you feel, and what will happen? Your reality will change. Practice number eight. Sync with the wisdom of your body. 
you see, we have an inner clock. Not only we know when the sun will come out and when the sun will leave us, we, will, we know also when the moon will be full and when the moon will be new. Because our body is synced to that. The menstrual cycle allows us to know when to play and go outside and when to retreat and breathe within. When you link into your menstrual cycle, you have more energy and you have more wisdom. When you fight the menstrual cycle is when you end up burnt out and really irritable. Why fight life? Why fight your nature? Wouldn't it be silly to swim upstream a river? If you need more information about it, because this is a big subject, I created a special video for you that takes you to the details of how you can sync with your cycle. I hope this has been helpful for you and wish you a wonderful summer. If you like this video, please do like it, because of course it makes me really happy and tells YouTube to show this kind of videos to women that need this content. I wish you again a wonderful summer. God bless.